Example 1. Angles in a semicircle. Below is a circle of centre C, BD is a diameter of the circle, A is a point on the circumference. What is the size of angle CBA? So CBA, what angle is that? Well, that's going to be this one, because of course if you start at C, go along the line to B, and then go along to there, it only forms one angle. So you can see we've got a triangle inside the circle here. We only know one of the angles. However, we also know that rule 7, the angle in a semicircle is a right angle, can be applied here. So this angle is going to be a right angle, and that's because the angle in a semicircle, the angle in a semicircle is a right angle. Okay, so now we've just got a triangle where we know two of the angles and we want the third. So we know triangles add up to 180 and we can subtract the other two from that. So 180, take away 90, take away 23. Well, 180 to take away 90 is 90, 90 to take away 23 is 67. So the answer is 67 degrees. And again, that's because angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Example two, combining rules. Below is a circle of center C. A, B, and D are points on the circumference. Angle B, C, D is 126 degrees, and angle C, D, A is 33 degrees. Find angle A, B, C. So first, let's figure out what angle we're trying to find. Start at A, go along to B, go along to C, and then it forms this angle. So that's the one we're looking for. The first circle theorem that we can apply here is rule three. The angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. What that means is this angle is half of this angle. So 126 divided by two is 63 degrees. And again, that's because the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. Then we could also deduce this angle here. How can we deduce that? Well, angles around a point sum to 360. So the angle that I've just drawn plus 126 should be 360. So 360 take away 126, which gives us 234 degrees. So this angle here is 234. And again, this is because angles around a point sum to 360 degrees. So now the second circle theorem that we will apply, so this one isn't a circle theorem, this is just a generic angle rule. So then the next rule that we can apply is that angles in a quadrilateral sum to 360. Now quadrilateral, you might be thinking, well, there's not immediately a, a quadrilateral that jumps out to you. However, this sort of arrowhead is a quadrilateral because there's one side, there's two, there's three, there's four. It's a four-sided shape, so all the angles should add up to 360. So we could do 360, take away all the angles that we know. So 360, take away 63, take away 33, take away 234. And this will give us the missing angle that we're trying to find, which gives us 30 degrees. And that's because angles in a quadrilateral sum to 360 degrees. Example three, proof of circle theorems. The circle to the right has centre D. A, B and C are points on the circumference of the circle. Prove that angle ADC is twice the angle ABC. So here we're trying to prove real, rule three. To start with, what I'm gonna do is split the shape that we have into two triangles. So like this, from the centre to that point there, B. We know that both of these triangles are isosceles. Why do we know that? Well, we know that this is a radius, this is a radius, and this is a radius. So the angles at the base of an isosceles triangle are the same. So this angle is W, this angle can be W, this angle can be Y, then this angle can be Y. Then we just need to label these two angles here that we haven't talked about yet. Let's just label those X and Z. The sum of the angles inside any triangle is 180 degrees. Therefore, focusing on the triangle ADB first of all, you're going to have W plus W plus X is 180, and that simplifies slightly to 2W plus X is 180. 
You can apply the same logic to the triangle BDC, and that gives you y plus y plus z is 180, and again, simplifies to 2y plus z is 180. Now, we're talking about the angle ADC, so it'll be useful to give a letter to that, a sign a letter to it. So let's call this angle A, and we're also talking about the angle ABC, which is the whole angle there that we can call B. Notice I've used lowercase as to not get them confused with the uppercase letters that define the points. We know the angles around a point sum to 360, so looking at the point D, the angles around here are X plus Z plus A, and we know that, that that equals 360. We can also say that B is just W plus Y. So now, if I can get A in terms of W plus Y, hopefully I can form a relationship between those. So I want to eliminate X and eliminate Z from this equation. To do that, I'm going to start by rearranging this equation to get X, and that will be 180 take away 2W is X. I can do a similar thing to this equation, and I'll get 180 take away 2y is z. I can sub those into this equation. So x is 180 take away 2w plus z, but z is now 180 take away 2y, and then plus a, and we know that that equals 360. So there's quite a bit of tidying up here. However, 180 plus 180, so we'll get 360, and then take away 2y, take away 2w. Not a lot we can do with that, so let's just leave that like that for now. And then plus a is equal to 360. Things will start cancelling out now because you can see we've got 360 on this side, 360 on this side. So those cancel each other out, which leaves us with minus 2w, minus 2y, plus a equals 0. You can rearrange this slightly to get a equals 2w plus 2y which you can see we've now got B in terms of W and Y, and we've got A in terms of W and Y. We can factorise this one slightly to be two lots of W plus Y, and we know that W plus Y is B, so A is two lots of B. So therefore, we've proven that the angle here is twice the angle here. So the angle at the centre is twice the angle at the circumference, just as the rule asked. Why not try the topic exam on our learning platform? Here you can answer a series of questions and get instant feedback on how you've done, both in a written format and a video format, as you can see here. So here's an explanation of the circle theorem, and then if you're unsure on how to apply it, there's a video solution of exactly what you need to do to solve the problem.